joining an army that's unstoppable. Jesus! We come into your homes and we talk to you about the goodness of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Everything in this book is for you. I need to accept Jesus now. Love and beauty is unfolding in you. God bless you and welcome to the God TV Partner Appeal. We are here in all our call centers around the world and we are waiting expectantly on the Father of Lights, but also on you, precious viewer, that through the time of this God TV Partner Appeal, that you, our God TV partners, will be standing with us to invest in the gospel, to invest in this media ministry, so that here we can take the gospel afresh and with power, with the power of the Spirit of God, and see lives transformed around the world. We announce that our call center is open, so please bring a generous gift, bring a monthly gift, but allow us to celebrate not only all that God has done through the ministry of God TV, but will do with your support at this time. Our call centers are open, not just here in the UK, but also around the world. Don't miss us on Facebook. Tweet us, but also join us on our website, God.tv. You can give there, God.tv forward slash gift. You have the opportunity, every gift will come through to our printers, not just here in the UK, but around the world. We'll be receiving your gift. We'll be praying over your gift. But also, by the grace of God, we'll be gathering together your gift here with our regional directors, our teams here in the UK, and all our offices around the world. Wayne, we're excited about the God TV Partner Appeal. Oh, it's so exciting. It is time for God's people to step into God's defined favor. And I'm so excited, Thomas, that we're here together from all around the world to see this come to fruition. Absolutely, and we're excited for this entire week starting from today, and we're gonna see what God has in store for us. Absolutely, yeah, Absolutely. we need to welcome our regions around the world. Africa and all over Africa, Erastus and myself are welcoming you to this partner appeal. It's going to be an exciting week, so connect with your family and friends and let them know to watch during this week. Erastus. Yes, East Africa. <laughs> Everybody, you're welcome to join us in Partner Week. This is going to be an exciting time. Everybody, let's join together in Partner Appeal. Fungus? Oh, it's a blessing. It's an absolute blessing on behalf of the UK and Europe. We are thrilled that the Lord is giving us this opportunity in God TV's 23rd year to promote the gospel, to promote the power and the presence of God, to show our support of Israel, to see lives transformed through media, even in the midnight hour. But Wayne, we're thrilled to see what the Lord is going to do through God TV at this Partner Week Appeal. Oh, look, there's so much in store. You're not going to want to go anywhere. Don't change the channel because we're going to have great teaching, great worship. We're going to have updates from all the different regions about what God's been doing through God TV. And we just want to thank you for all of you guys that are partnering with us because it's you that equip us and empower us to do what we do all over the world. And if you haven't ever given, now's the time. Go to the phone. The numbers are on your screen. We'd love to hear from you right now, right at the beginning of this special partner appeal, right? Yeah, I think uh, since you didn't welcome Australia and New Zealand, when I want to. <laughs> uh, welcome, for the, welcome to the Partner Appeal, all of you in India and in Nepal and Sri Lanka and Bangladesh and in Thailand. We're going to have fantastic four days where we're going to celebrate God, God's goodness, and we're going to thank you, wonderful partners, that all of the updates which you're going to see was all made possible by you. That's right. Well, I better better late than never. Welcome everybody from Australia. We are down under. The, 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 the welcome is delayed. And everyone in New Zealand, Vanuatu, all the way up to Hong Kong and Greater China. We love you guys. You guys are always so generous, so powerful with your prayers. And we're so great that you're watching us today. So, well, guys. Let me just say this week, what I'm looking forward to and dear viewer, what we are looking forward to is the favor of God. I'm going to speak about the fact of God's favor. We want God's favor in everything that we do in every life with our family and our friends, in our businesses, in our communities. In fact, here at God TV, we need the favor of God. And what I'm encouraged about is, is what is in um, Luke chapter uh, 2, verse 52. And it says this, And Jesus increased or he grew in wisdom, stature, and in favor with God and man. 
So in other words, what is ahead of us is we're going to learn how to grow in favor with man and with God. And I'm so looking forward to this. And hear the testimonies of what God is doing through God TV in all the regions. So Marcel, something that began here in Great Britain in 1995, and for so many of you, our precious God TV partners, you have been with us since 1995, and mm. we honor you today. But this partner appeal is our opportunity to stand before you, our precious viewers, and encourage and welcome your support. This is an opportunity to invest in the gospel, to invest in anointed Christian media, and to invest your support, all of our support, monthly, generously, with great grace and indeed with great faith to see the nations turned around. We are so excited. Marcel, we are believing God for absolute breakthrough in the favor of God for our viewers this week. Absolutely. You know what? There's something that we want to ask, and that's we need how much? 7,000 partners? Yes. What do they need to do? They need to contribute monthly. They need to stand with this ministry. We're looking for 7,000 of you, our precious God TV viewers, perhaps to sow a gift of 27 pounds, 27 dollars, 27 euros, or a currency of your choice that will allow us as the God TV team to bring you fresh programming going further than we've ever gone before, to see the nations equipped, to see nations re to see souls saved, to see the revelation of Israel come to all the body of Christ and to welcome, usher in the presence and power of yes, God. Absolutely. So here yeah, at God TV, we say in the mornings when we wake up, what do we say? We say, yes, we say, yes sir, <laughs> souls, Israel and revival. Ward, it's an exciting week ahead of us and we're looking so forward to hear what God is doing. Amen. Marcel, all the guys in the UK, it's nice to see you all. I thank God for you. I've been praying for you. I know our viewers around the world deeply appreciate and love everything that you're doing. We have testimonies today that we're going to share with you of people who, whose lives have been transformed through God TV. And this week is our partner appeal week. This week we are appealing to you, our friends and partners around the world. We need your help like never before. We need you to join with us and help us to fuel this car as we travel to the ends of the earth. Lives are being transformed. Men and women are being set free. People are being delivered, saved and healed through the gospel of Jesus Christ. And it happens through a whole mechanism of media. We go from Jerusalem to Samaria to Judea to the ends of the earth via satellite. Right into your home. Right into the furthest, remotest village between India and Pakistan. We get testimonies from all over the world of what God is doing, but we can't do it by ourselves. And that's why we have partners. And thank God He has given us some very faithful partners. You make it possible. And we share together in the reward. Everything that we do, we do together and we share in the reward. You know, as the guys were in the UK were saying, God gave us three pillars to focus on and continue on. These are things that we've been doing since the very beginning at God TV, souls, Israel, and revival. And that's what you're doing there, friends. You are a media missionary taking this gospel to the ends of the earth. Would you do me a favor right now? Would you call someone? Would you call a friend, call a loved one, call someone that you know was a partner, is a partner, maybe they're not watching right now? Listen, we have a word for you this week. And we're going to begin today. God spoke to me very, very clearly and said, talk to my people about my favor. He is about to pour his favor out upon you. And you can take that all the way to the bank, friends. You believe it or not, God's about to pour his favor out upon you. Because the Bible says the spirit of the Lord is upon you. Because he has anointed you to preach good news. How do you preach? You don't have to be here sitting. You don't have to be on a podium. You don't have to be behind a pulpit. God's given you a voice. He's given you His hands, His feet, His mouth. And together, we are media missionaries taking the gospel around the world. He's about to pour His favor up upon you. We've got Troy Brewer here today, and Troy is going to bring you a message. We have a special gift that we're going to send to you for partnering with us. But listen, I am praying right now before we begin. Father, I'm praying right now in Jesus' name that this message of favor that you Amen. told me to bring to the people, Lord, that they would have ears to hear. 
Father, and that they would be doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving their own selves. Lord, would you anoint our viewers right now and our partners, Lord, to pour favor out upon them during this week in Jesus' mighty name. Ron and Scott are with me today in the studio. Ron's our Israel director. Ron, thanks for flying in from Israel to be with us. No, Scott, thanks for flying in from um, Charlotte, Charlotte, North Carolina to be with <laughs> us today. I know that both of you guys are very busy. So, Ron, just some opening words from you. Oh, man, I'm just, I, I'm blessed. I'm excited. Um, I know we're going to talk about Israel, but I just really bear witness with what you're saying. We have an opportunity through God TV to take the message of the gospel. I mean, we, we may be the generation that sees the gospel go to every nation. Yeshua said that this gospel of the kingdom must be preached in every nation before the end comes. And I always just have this image of somebody in the remotest part of Africa with a, with a mobile phone watching us on TV sharing about Jesus and getting born again, or somebody in India or even America, you know, just finding us by accident. We are media missionaries. And I, I love that term because through media, we are able to reach the whole world. So I'm, I'm super excited. Scott, we have a video I want to show our viewers on souls. You know, our three pillars, souls, Israel, and revival. This first one's on souls. I want them to see it. It kind of flows exactly how we're talking, and I'll come right back to you. Watch this little video on souls. You'll be inspired, you'll be encouraged, and you'll be so pleased to know that you're a part of what God's doing around the world. Jesus said, go and make disciples of all nations. At God TV, we are passionate about souls, reaching the lost, the hurt, the oppressed, the persecuted, the mentally ill, those who are bound in addictions, drugs, pornography, and cycles of destructive behavior from which they desperately wish to escape. God TV broadcasts the gospel of salvation, deliverance, and healing, reaching and changing lives across the globe. God TV became to us a lifesaver. There is hope, and I found that hope through Jesus. Life shut down. Most of my time was spent at home, and it was then that I found God TV. Because of people giving, the word came through, the anointing came through, and set me free. With your partnership, together we can reach many, many more broken souls, people crying out for a savior. This program has been televised right around the world as I speak to you now, and I think we need to give God TV a big clap right around the world. With your partnership, you have a part in each and every person reached with the gospel. With every person reached, you stand alongside us, proclaiming the truth of Jesus Christ. Please, continue to stand with us. Partner with God TV today. Hello, this is Evangelist Nathan Morris from Shake the Nations Ministries. And I want to greet all the God TV viewers and partners around the world that are watching this. You know, God TV has been a blessing in my life for a number of years. I can think of the moments where I've been watching God TV and a preacher has said something that has truly impacted my life. That's why I know God TV is such a precious ministry. I've worked alongside God TV for a number of years. They were part of the Bay Revival. I've worked alongside every team member. I've seen them behind the scenes work with all of their hearts to bring you the gospel from around the world. That is why this is such a precious ministry. And I stand by God TV. I hear their heart. I see their passion to reach every last soul with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that is something as myself and my wife and the whole Shake the Nations team, we want to be a part of that. God TV right now are in such a place that we, they need every single person to join with them that we might preach the gospel to every last soul. You know, Jesus said in Matthew 9, 38, he said, the, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Jesus said, don't pray about the harvest, pray about the laborers. He said, pray that the Lord of the harvest will send out laborers into his harvest fields. I believe God TV has been called to win millions of souls around the world. They bring you content that truly impacts your life. I want you to take a moment and think about the times that you've turned on God TV and been blessed and been touched as you've watched preachers and ministers around the world 
release the presence of God, release the Word of God into your life. That's why I'm calling for every single person today to join with God TV, to give financially toward this precious ministry. We must support them in an hour where the gospel needs to be preached. It must be preached. When we're seeing what we're seeing around the world, we're seeing a decline morally, we're seeing politically things happening that tell us, the Bible tells us that we are living in these last days. That is why the gospel must be preached. Jesus said the gospel is the power of God unto salvation. And I believe God has given God TV a medium that will literally reach millions of souls. Media is the way to reach people that never go into a church. And that is why I'm asking today, right now, that you would give your seed, that you would say to God TV, we support you, we're praying for you, and we believe in you. You know, Ward Simpson and his wife Lydia, I've known them personally for a number of years. Actually, many of you may not know that Ward Simpson is on the board of Shake the Nations Ministries. He is a man of integrity. I believe in him. I believe all that he is doing for God TV, his vision and his drive to see every person hear the gospel just one time in their life. That is why we must join with them today. If you've ever been impacted by God TV, take a moment and thank God and say, God, I'm going to sow a seed into this ministry because you use God TV to bless my life. I'm calling every single person today. Let's join with God TV and let's see millions of souls reached with the gospel of Jesus Christ. I believe your reward will be great when we stand before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Be blessed. I'll see you soon. In Jesus' mighty name. Praise God. You know, watching the, these uh, VTs and videos, it just stirs my heart to see what God's doing. You know, many of us left lucrative careers to come and be with God TV because we just see such an amazing opportunity. You know, the window is open. How long will the window be open for? The harvest is plentiful, friends. The laborers are indeed few. So we thank God for you. This is a very important time for us. This week is a very, very critical time for us. Where This is not about fun and games. This is about the kingdom of God. This is about plunder in hell and populate in heaven. This is a very serious time, friends, and we need your help. You know, we've been asking, and we will be asking for new partners to come on. We're looking for 7,000 new partners to give $27. 27 euros or 27 pounds. You know, why was it 27? Is that some magical number? No. In fact, our donor development department recommended 26, but I don't like the number six. <laughs> so we went with seven. But listen, we need more than $27. But we have partners that, that Scott just give us five pounds a month. I, had a, I just received a letter from a lady that just gives us five pounds a month. But she wrote me a letter just so encouraged by what God is doing through her five pounds. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to come to you in a second, Scott, just to take up. But I want to read this testimony. For those of you watching, uh, this, this flows very well because Nathan just gave us a wonderful uh, endorsement. And let me read you this testimony all the way from Australia. This is from Anthony and Lily. It says, one morning we were watching God TV and Nathan Morris was ministering on healing. Ministering on healing on television, they're in Australia, he's in America preaching, and they're watching it. That's the miracle of media. And he told them, if you had a heart problem, put your hand on the screen. Now to many people, that sounds ridiculous. You don't have to put your hand on the screen. Just believe, I understand all of that. But this couple were obedient. They were serious because she had a heart condition and she put her hands on the screen. Friend, did the screen have magic? No. Did the screen have some kind of anointing? No. The man of God has the anointing. And God used him to encourage her to step out in faith and put her hand on the screen, and she did it. Mm. And here's what happened. She went to the doctor because she believed she was healed. She didn't have the symptoms anymore. She went to the doctor, 
And the doctor said, you need to go to the hospital for a checkup. <laughs> she went to the hospital and they came out and said, we do not know what you have done, but you are totally healed. Amazing. Wow. Totally healed. Your heart is perfect. No more heart failure. And they go on to say, thanks to God TV and to God working through Nathan Morris and through God TV. Scott, that is why we do what we do. It's phenomenal. You know, I was recently in a small little city in Canada speaking at a church there. It was about a year ago. And some of the young people in the church were on their phones during a break in the sessions. And I said, what do you, I thought they were playing some games on their iPhones. They actually had the God TV app open, watching a live event wow. from California because they couldn't find it anywhere else on live TV. And I thought to myself, isn't it interesting that here, God TV is touching a younger generation of people wow. who are looking at their phones and being blessed in the same way that that woman was blessed by Nathan Morris. This worship team was up on a stage in Southern California mm -hmm. and these young people were glued to the God TV app watching. We have no idea whether we're watching on television, whether we've got our iPads. There are generations that are being impacted by what, what we get to do around the world. It's an incredible blessing. Scott, there was a man in the Bible, his name is Cornelius. <laughs> and he was praying and believing for a miracle. But not only did he pray, he was doing something yeah, that I want brother. you to talk to our viewers about. Yeah, I am so blown away. I mean, when I think of Cornelius in Acts chapter 10, one of my favorite places in all of Israel, you live there, yes. is Caesarea by the sea. Yeah. Caesarea is where Cornelius lived. And it says in Acts chapter 10 that Cornelius was a man who feared God, he prayed, and he gave. And God shows up to Cornelius, and God didn't say your prayers have blessed me. He says your prayers and your giving have ascended as a memorial to God. Uh, God loves when we pray. But what was it that attracted God's attention to Cornelius? It was his prayers and his giving. So incredibly, Cornelius, who is not a Jewish man, mm -hmm. is stri stricken by the Lord and sends for a Jewish man named Peter, for whom it's unlawful to walk into a Gentile's home. Right. And Peter, you can read the story in Acts chapter 10, the sheep comes down from heaven, all the unclean animals that you can imagine. And you know what Peter was told? Go to Cornelius's house. Mm. And Peter shows up in Cornelius's house and what happens to Cornelius? The same exact thing that happened to the Jewish people in Acts chapter two on the day of Pentecost. God's spirit is poured out. Mm. They're filled with the spirit, they're baptized and the gospel goes to the nations. You think we get to do something amazing. We have a debt, God TV has a debt to Cornelius mm. because through Cornelius, the gospel goes to the nations. But what was it? that attracted God to Cornelius, yes. his prayers and his, giving. and his giving. Ron, you know, this week is all about God's favor. And we're going to throw to another video in a second on revival, showing what our partners are accomplishing around the world. But just talk about favor for a second. You know, whatever's day, on your heart. <laughs> every day. I, pray I mean, Cornelius favor. had favor. <laughs> uh, yeah, every day I'm asking God for favor. You know, it talks about, yeah, you read the beginning chapters of the book of Acts. And it says they had favor with all the people. Yes. Uh, you know, when someone says to you, you know, that man, I, I think I have a good friend in Jerusalem. Uh, his name is Wayne Hillsden. You know him. Yeah. And I always tell Wayne, that you've got favor on him. Why do I say that to him? Because Wayne, he's built a wonderful congregation. He just turned it over to a good friend of mine named Chad Holland. But w he has built uh, right under the nose of intense opposition, he built a 600 seat beautiful auditorium where uh, Orthodox Jews would have shut him down, but he has favor with the mayor. Mm. He has favor with yeah. the city council. He has, everyone loves him. He's not Jewish. He's living in Jerusalem. Right. And then it takes funds to build these things. And what does Wayne do? He gets on an airplane and he just says, you know, I used to work with him. I was a pastor. And he said, Ron, I'll be back in a week. I'm going to some nation. No, didn't know why, just felt God, he gets there and then he would meet this person that he'd come home with, you know, a check for $500,000 to build these buildings wow. in Jerusalem, to, ble to bless all the congregations in Jerusalem. That's the favor of God. And I want to say one more thing. One of the reasons that God pours out his favor on 
Cornelius was because he was giving. Yeah. On Wayne is because Wayne took this building, this massive building, and he said to all the congregations in Jerusalem, he didn't say, this is mine, I'm keeping it. No, he said, any congregation that wants to meet here, boy, this, this is your home too. Wow. And that released favor on his life. Mm. I also think of our guests coming up, uh, I'm going to steal his thunder, but our dear friend Troy, when he began to give to Israel, it's a big part of what we do here at God TV, is to bless Israel. Uh, they were just a small congregation. He gave his first gift, significant gift, to Israel. That's awesome. Two months later, awesome. he was given a 1,200-seat auditorium. Wow. Just give him the keys, your building. Favor. Wow. wow. I was about to say that he invested one pair of shoes <laughs> in a garbage dump to give to a kid yeah. and got a return of 16,000 pairs. <laughs> so I, I thought that was big, yeah, <laughs> but he, he was well, giving We're going to hear building. more from him later. I can't you, wait. Yeah, you are going to hear more from our friend Troy Brewer, but listen, this is what we're talking about this week, the favor of God. Why are we doing that? Is it some buzzword? Did we just decide we want to talk about God's favor? No. God told me clearly, speak to his people about his favor. He is about to pour his favor out Amen. on your life. Why? Because you need it. Noah needed it. Daniel needed it. Joseph needed it. How about Mary? Would you like to be like Mary, where the angel appeared to her and said, you who are highly favored? Yeah. Mm. Don't you need some recognition? Don't you need to be noticed? Don't you need a breakthrough in your life? Don't you need that something extra? It's the favor of God. As Troy will tell you, we're not talking about the love of God. He loves every one of you equally. We're not talking about the blessings of God. God will pour His blessings upon those who are faithful and obedient. Like the Bible says in Genesis 12, if you bless Israel, you'll be blessed. We're not talking about the grace of God, which we refer to as God's unmerited favor. We're not talking about salvation. We are talking about something special. His favor that gives you recognition, gives you protection, gives you provision. It does something powerful. Favoritism. It's like a magnet that attracts God to you. And we'll talk more about that and tell you how you can get God's favor. How do you walk in it? It's not for everybody, but it's for you today. Watch this video on Revival, another pillar of God TV, and see what your gifts and partnership is doing around the world. And we'll be right back. Throughout its history, God TV has had a mandate to broadcast revival and moves of God from the nations to the nations, often live and from the front row of where God is moving in power. I see the power of God touching people all over this building right now. Revival does not come without prayer. And God TV also broadcasts strategic prayer initiatives, calls to corporate repentance, and cries for breakthrough in the spiritual realms. God is stirring up hearts. The Holy Spirit is changing the world inside of us to change the world around us. At God TV, we are passionate about seeing God break out in miraculous power, in signs, wonders, and healings. When you encounter that fire, there is a boldness, there is a passion, there is a supernatural grace. We need a church that is passionate about the mission of Christ, the work of God, propagating the gospel of Jesus Christ to a lost and a broken world. We long to see a revived and empowered church bursting at the seams with the power and glory of God to transform communities, cities, and nations. There's only one hope for you in this life, and it's a relationship with God through Jesus Christ. Your partnership enables us to continue broadcasting vital, strategic revival events from around the world. I have such a longing in my heart that everybody here truly receives Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Partner with God TV today and stand with us, believing for revival. We need 7,000 people to stand with us and become new media missionaries. By giving 27 pounds, dollars or euros monthly, you take the gospel to over 300 million homes in 200 countries, giving 1 billion people access to God TV. 
By partnering with God TV and standing for souls, Israel and revival, you have the chance to increase your sphere of influence. Partnering with God TV means your reach goes beyond those you encounter in person to those you enable to reach through the broadcast of the gospel through television. Stand with us. Become a God TV partner today. Praise God, friends. As you saw that video, we need 7,000 people. That's what we're asking for. 7,000. We're not talking about our existing partners. We need 7,000 more people that are watching right now that have never given to God TV, and we need you to pledge. We need you to say, you know what? Yes, I believe in the vision of God TV. You know, recently I had the privilege to share with a young man, 32 years old. I met with him for the first time, nervous to ask for money. You know, it's, it's uncomfortable asking. It's uncomfortable doing this, friends, but we have to do it. This is how we do it. We do it through partnership. And we need your support. And I met with this young man and I sat with him, just asked the Lord for favor before I sat with him. And we, we shared the vision of God TV. And as I sat there sharing with him, I began to weep as tears are coming down my face. And he began to be moved by what God was doing and what he was hearing. He was a revivalist like us. He was an evangelist like us. He was for Israel like us. He was, he was so moved. And at the end of it, he said, Ward, count me in. I've never given to God TV before, but count me in. Awesome. I'm going to give you a gift. And I thanked him and we got up to leave and I didn't know what that gift was. Was it $27? Was it $2,700? Was it 100 Was it 1000 I didn't know what he was going to give. And as we were leaving, he, he excused himself to go and wash his hands and he came back and, guys, this is what he said to me. He said, he said, Ward, as I was in the bathroom, the Lord spoke to me and said that I needed to tell you right now how much I'm going to give to God TV because you needed to be encouraged today. Wow. Today. And friends, I needed encouragement. Yeah. He looked at me and said, Ward, count me in for $100,000. Wow. wow. And I began to weep. <laughs> I began to cry. And I thank God for favor. And we're praying favor upon your life as you give to God TV. Would you pick up the phone right now and call? Our operators are standing by. If it's busy, Please keep calling. We don't have this humongous call center, but we do have folks, men and women, that love God and are sitting behind those phones just waiting to hear from you. Please call us right now and pledge your gift. In the meantime, we want to welcome our dear friend, Paul Wilbur, who is a very, very dear friend to God TV and to all of you around the world. Paul is going to lead us in worship as you go to your phones and pledge to God TV. of the sun to the place where it goes down the name of the Lord is forever to be praised I will praise Adonai I know you know this one who is like him lion and the lamb seated on his throne mountains bow down every ocean rose to the Lord of hosts. Come on and sing it with me. Praise Adonai from the rising of the sun to the end of every day. Praise Adonai all the nations of the earth, the angels and the saints who sing the is like you. You're the lion, you're the lamb, seated on your throne. Mountains bow down, every ocean rose to the Lord of hosts. Come praise him, praise Adonai. From the rising of the sun to the end of every day. Praise Adonai, all the nations of the earth, all the angels. 
to all those who would call on his name in righteousness. Come on, call on the Lord now. He's got favor that he's pouring out to you today. Praise our life from the rising of the sun and of every day. Praise our life all the nations of the earth all the angels and the saints will sing the opening From the rising of the sun to the end of every day. Praise of life. All the nations of the earth, all the angels and the saints will sing the opening. to the Lord, all you that have breath, give him praise, for he alone is Lord of all. My name is Mike Bickle. I'm the director of the International House of Prayer right here in Kansas City, where we have 24-hour prayer and worship. We've been doing this now for 19 years, and we have had this tremendous partnership with God TV. And so here on the God TV Partner Week, I just wanted to jump in and share some of my gratefulness for who God TV is and what they have done over the years and why I am committed to the vision the Lord has given them. You know, Ward Simpson is giving leadership to the leadership team. I've known Ward for maybe 20 years now. And I've known his family, and they have this long history, himself personally, but his family as well, of dedication to Jesus, radical commitment to missions. They stand for God's purpose for the nation of Israel, contending for revival. So, Ward, I'm so excited to see your leadership, and I so believe in you, and I've watched you for these many years, and I think that God TV has a tremendous future. Now, the thing I love about God TV, well, there's many things. It's your vision for revival. Of course, Ward, you were at the, in the Pensacola revival all those years. You were right in the center of that in the 90s. And you were kind of really established in that DNA. But this is an hour where the greatest revival in the history of Christianity, I mean, beyond the book of Acts, we're on the early days of that revival breaking forth. And of course, the passion for souls that God TV has had all these years, contending for God's purpose for Israel. We're in a time when the enemy is attacking the purpose of God for Israel. So when prophetic voices take a bold stand, the Lord is pleased. And he promised that he would bless anyone who blesses Jerusalem. So I want to encourage you, add your prayers, your financial support, whether it's a one-time gift, whether it's a monthly gift, because you, I want to uh, assure you this finance is, is seed sown in good soil because it's going forth into homes and, and campuses and prisons all around the world, office buildings, bringing the now word of the Lord and stirring up hearts and encouragement. So God TV, we love your vision and we stand with you here in Kansas City, the International House of Prayer. We love you. Um, I was at a conference. Thank last you week. so much, Mike. What a what what wonderful words. I mean, they're really they're really wonderful words. Thank you for speaking so kindly about us and about God TV. Thank you so much, and we love you. Our viewers around the world love what you're doing, and they love your ministry. So together, we're a partner, and that's what we're doing. Um, Paul, partnership. Mm -hmm. This is what this week is all about. So partner appeal. Yeah. I'm, I'm convinced, Ward, that 
nothing of lasting value happens on this earth outside of relationship. That's right. You know, the word says that God so loved the world that he gave and he cut a covenant. He's the one who wanted relationship with us because it's only in relationship that something of, of, of eternal lasting value mm. is produced. That's why marriage is so important. That's why relationship of, you know, we have this, this vertical relationship with God, um, but the, the horizontal is so important too. I mean, it's, so, it's all through the scriptures, but I, I love what, what Mike was, was saying there. Mike Bickle's a, a dear friend for many, many years. He said something that really provokes me for these next couple of minutes. He said, we've, we've entered a time and, and I, I want to, I'm declaring something that, that I really believe to be true about the days that we are walking in. We saw something so remarkable happen the first day of Passover this year. Now, this is just a few weeks back. And I'm, I'm calling it the day that Jesus came to church. <laughs> this is... I, I believe, and I, now I can't, I can't open the scriptures and prove it to you, but I can open the scriptures and show you what God has spoken about this time, not a season, because seasons come and go, and a lot of times they'll, they'll be brief, but a time. In, in Acts chapter 1, the disciples are standing with Jesus on the Mount of Olives. It's 40 days after the resurrection. And they ask him, Lord, will you at this time yeah. restore the kingdom to Israel? He says, don't be concerned about the times. My father's got that all set. But I want you to be my witnesses here. We've mentioned it several times. Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, to the uttermost parts of the world. That's what we're concerned about. We're all involved in that. We're, we're all media missionaries. Uh, in the past, I called myself a musicianary, <laughs> using music to express the gospel in the nations. Yeah. And now, with our partnership with God TV, by the way, Wilbur Ministries is one of those new partners uh, the, of the 7,000. Thank you. I can't tell you um, how much. <laughs> I, I can tell you it's probably not a hundred thousand. One dollar less than, than I'm going to give. <laughs> this, this guy uh, really provokes it. me. So uh, in good Thank ways. You. Thank you, Paul. Yeah. That's awesome, bro. So we, we want to, listen, we're, we're in this to win this. Amen. And, Amen. and this is one of the vehicles by which God is going to accomplish yeah. his goals in these last days. Now, let me, I know our time is brief, so... I'm not famous for being brief, so <laughs> give, me, give me two more minutes. In Acts chapter 3, there's another mention of time. Peter's preaching. A great miracle happens. A man whose legs have never supported him. Peter reaches out and lifts the man up, and I think scholars, whoever they are, say that he's about 40 years old. Maybe Mike Brown was the scholar who told me that. A man whose legs had never held him, all of a sudden strengthened. He's preaching the gospel. He's shouting and dancing around the temple. Peter preaches and he says, now brothers, we acted in ignorance speaking to Israel as did all of our leaders. We didn't see that the Messiah was coming first to suffer and to give us a relationship with God. Then he'd be back at the end of days in order to establish the kingdom, throw out the, the, uh, the, the ruling powers, establish the kingdom, in Jerusalem. And then he says this, he must remain in heaven until the time to restore all things. Mm -hmm. Now, again, I can't open the scriptures and tell you this, but, but, but I believe that we have entered this time that Peter was speaking about. Passover, the first day of Passover, I'm speaking in our, our home church for the first time thousands of people. I asked the pastor to come up and join me for the third cup and the afikomen as I was using that service to speak on covenant, God making covenant relationship with us. And he came up on the platform. That's the last we heard from him. Jesus showed up. He had an open vision and the time to restore. I'm telling you, 
I believe that God has chosen us because he knew that we would carry this with faithfulness. He knows our hearts. We didn't choose this. We couldn't choose the time to be born. We couldn't choose the time that we would be a part of this media ministry to reach all the nations with the good news. But God chose it for us. Yeah. Those of us who are, are watching today, God chose you. He chose you to be a part of his kingdom for just such a time as this. Mm. And I'm asking you today to join with me, to join with Scott, to join us here at God TV and to partner with us to see this gospel of the kingdom preached in all the nations the and then night. the end will come. There's a parallel restoration happening right now. Hallelujah. The church and Israel together. Derek Prince saw this 70 years ago and wrote about it. Amazing. And we're beginning to see it in a marvelous way. And this, this thing is coming to an explosion, to an explosion. And God is pouring out his favor. I believe we have entered this time when God is restoring all things. Amen. And he's using us good, bro. to do that. It's good, bro. You know, uh, in my New American Standard Bible, oh. <laughs> in the book of Nehemiah, when they're rebuilding the wall, I ended up circling the word next to. I can't remember whether it's chapter two or chapter three. As they're rebuilding the wall, you've got a priest next to a uh, musician, mm -hmm. next to a, a stonemason. And I've got all these next twos because with that wall could not have been built if there weren't people willing just to link arms together. Amen. You know, uh, Amen. people from around the world. And I, I'm seeing that war, bro. Even as we're talking today about relationships, we can't do what God's called us to do without people standing next to us. Mm -hmm. Because when people stand next to us, then it's not us getting the glory. It's look what the Lord has done. Amen. God didn't set us up to be able to do this ourselves because if he did, then we get the glory. We say, look what we built. Yeah. But no, we need to say, look what God is doing. And I believe, just as you say, that's what he's doing in the nations today. Yeah. And there are people right now that are saying, I wanna stand next to Paul. I wanna stand next to Ward. I wanna stand next to God TV because those are the kinds of people that we need really to touch the nations of the world. I, mm -hmm. I think that's amazing, bro. Amen. Mm -hmm. Well, let me tell you, Scott and Paul, why we do what we do. Take a look at this video, friends, and we'll be right back. Our passion is connecting people to the gospel through media. I was searching for the real love, satisfaction, and the truth. And on my search, I wasn't happy, and I became more and more depressed. My mom, she was pretty much stuck in a room for most of the time. My daily life consisted of um, taking pain pills, numbing out, and fighting off the voices. I thought everything stopped if you killed yourself, so that's what I was going to do. For over two decades, God TV has committed to bringing the transforming message of Jesus into homes across the world, providing hope in the most desperate of situations. I decided I wanted to commit suicide. As I sat in darkness, deciding how to do it, a voice spoke to me and it said, why don't you watch God TV? Everything in this book is for you. And even more. You've got to have it. You've got to experience it. I was just changing through the channels. When I came across this uh, God TV, that is when I decided to uh, give my heart to Jesus. God is reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting people's trespasses against them. And he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. I felt on my knees because the presence of God was so strong. God TV appeared on her, on her TV and she watched it and I didn't know at the time, but she got saved that night. As I sat in the darkness and listened about who God was, he, he came in the room and I met him. I met my creator. Partner with God TV and see lives changed to the outer ends of the earth.
By partnering with God TV and standing for souls, Israel and revival, you have the chance to increase your sphere of influence. Partnering with God TV means your reach goes beyond those you encounter in person to those you enabled us to reach through the broadcast of the gospel through television. Stand with us. Become a God TV partner. Go online to God.tv today. God bless you and welcome back to our partner appeal here at God TV. We're asking you to become involved with a generous gift of 27 pounds, 27 euros, 27 dollars per month to allow us as a new media missionary to reach the nations of the world. Well, here at God TV, our longest standing regional office is our Scandinavia office. And here we have our Scandinavian coordinators, Gina and Stuart Glover. Now, Gina, the Scandinavian office is our longest standing office, but it's also our youngest office because you guys have just moved back to Norway. Tell us the story. Yeah, so I'm Norwegian, um, Stu's English, and so we moved back uh, in January. We felt like it was the right time to move into Norway and uh, work in Scandinavia yes. and really um, impact the partners there and, and meet them and build relationships. Oh, that's wonderful. Stuart, you know our partner base in, in the Nordics has been so faithful to us for so many years. I know you guys have been doing partner events. What, how, what have you most enjoyed? Yeah, I, I think that exactly, partner events. So we've had the privilege of going around all the different um, capitals. Yes. So we've been in uh, Sweden, Norway, and Denmark. Uh -huh. And we're back in Denmark again this month. Wow. And just meeting our amazing partners, everyone coming from you know different streams of life, coming together, being able to engage with them again, encourage them, and be encouraged by what God's doing in their lives. Too. Amen. Agina, yeah. what do you believe is the difference that God TV can make to our viewers in Scandinavia? I believe that, so where I grew up in Norway, um, God TV really built my faith um, because it, there wasn't a great Christian environment, wow. a lot of churches. And so for me, that was really important in making good decisions in the future. So yeah. I think that's so important for, for anyone and, and building their faith and really equipping the church in that way. Oh, wow. Well, thank you, Gina. Thank you, Stuart. God bless you. Now, listen, keep those Scandinavian phone lines busy and help Gina and Stuart grow our Scandinavian office so that we can impact more viewers across that region. Now, we want to show you a VT about the call center here in the UK, but we want to keep that call center busy. So no matter where you are, call a number, call a number and be part of this great God TV partner appeal. My name is Francesca. I've worked here since January 2017 and um, I am a partner relations advisor. So I'm on the phones. Um, I pray with people and I process donations and things like that. My name's Sigrid and I'm uh, the PR supervisor here on partner relations team. I've been here since uh, 2014, so three years, and I help manage the team with their prayer requests. Um, partner donations and any queries that we get in here for the UK headquarters. My name is Brian. I've been uh, with God TV since January of last year. I work in partner services. My name's Vanessa and I work in the partner relations department. I have always wanted to work in a Christian organisation because my faith is very important to me. Uh, I've been looking for jobs because I was in another job and um, it came up and I felt it was the right thing to do and I came for an interview, didn't think I'd get it, but I did, so here I am. I think the most memorable thing that um, I've actually heard whilst praying and, and dealing with partners on the phone um, was when we were praying for a little child who was very poorly in hospital and the grandmother was ringing us quite regularly to just see God heal this child and um, it went from being extremely sick to really well within a matter of weeks. And so that was a, an amazing testimony for us. Uh, one day I was asked to uh, pray for a uh, repair of a fridge. The partner phoned up, she said she'd lost the guarantee and she's only had the fridge about three or four months. And uh, she either wanted the money to buy a new fridge or to find uh, the guarantee or to get the fridge working again. And so we prayed for all three. She phoned back half an hour later and the fridge was working. I think it matters because some people don't have anyone to listen to them speak to or they don't have anyone to help them through difficult situations. So 
I just find that even a conversation here and there, people have like felt better within themselves. So that's why I think that matters, that people feel good after they speak to us. I think the most important thing about the job I do is the fact that I love talking to partners. That's what I enjoy doing the most. And I love praying with them and get to know them. Uh, they become uh, like friends. I think I would tell our, our partners, our viewers at home, that um, it's a real privilege to serve them. Um, and I hope that they feel that they're a part of our family, um, that they are cared and loved for, and that should they ever need us, that we're here at the end of a phone 24 hours a day. Um, and wherever possible, support God TV, um, you know, with a heart for ministry getting the word out this is a, an amazing mission field and um, if they can be a part of it and support it with prayer or finances then we'd be more than happy and very very grateful don't be afraid to call in like we're always here to listen we're just regular people and we also go through trials and tribulations as well so we're just here to listen to pray with them if they need to be so they shouldn't be scared to call us up my favourite part of working here is that I'm working with people who I feel are part of a family with. Um, unlike other jobs where they're just work colleagues here, we spend time with one another um, in and out of work and it just feels like home. It feels very natural and comfy and um, we just have a good, good laugh and a good time together. Thank you very much, our wonderful team there in the UK. We just threw that in there to show you that you're not calling a robot, you're not calling a machine, you're calling real men and women of God who have chosen this as their ministry. And they want to hear from you today. They would like to hear from you right now. Please call with your gift. Please call with your pledge. We need to hear from you today. Friends, I believe the favor of God is going to come upon you as you give. Part of receiving the favor of God is a part of giving and be a generous giver. Be a very generous giver. Troy, it's a privilege to have you. I met you through Ron. It's been a great, great um, introduction. And uh, we partner together. Now we're in covenant together. And friend, the favor of God is so on you that I had to have you here to talk to our viewers about that favor. Rub it off on us, brother. Rub it <laughs> Thank off. Thank you. Thank you, Ward. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, I love favor. Um, I want to just start off by just saying this. That a lot, there's a lot of confusion when it comes to favor because we think that if God loves us, then He has favor on us, and that's not how favor works. Or we think, well, hey, God, if God loves everybody, then He favors everybody. No, Ward, this is what I've learned. God is not blind mechanical fate. He's not um, the way things work out. He's not the way that things line up. God is a person. And since he's a person, he has a personality, and there are things that he likes, and there are things that he doesn't like, and there are things that he says, if you walk in these things, I will put my favor upon you. Mm -hmm. And when I began to understand this a long time ago, and so I intentionally started doing that. As a, as a matter of fact, the Bible says in the book of Proverbs, it says that, that we're supposed to find God and then find life, and in doing so, we shall obtain favor. Mm. And obtaining um, has to do with an intentional posture. It's something that you do on purpose. So you have to purposely line up your heart with God's heart because again, he's a person. He, he has, there are things that he likes. There's things that he doesn't like. There are things that he loves. There are things that he passionately says, I, th those things I am against. Mm. And whenever we line up our hearts with his heart, whenever we line up our thinking with his thinking and our actions with his action, he gives us favor. Now, favor is a special kind of blessing. I love favor because a big part of favor is, Ron, God will have you at the right place at the right time for the right miracles to happen, mm -hmm. right? And we all need that. I, kn I know that you have some of that on you, but I tell you, this brother right here, this brother, this brother has it, it favor. It is on you, and I want, I want to tell you something. Uh, I want our viewers to understand this, that uh, we were just in Nepal together. Yes. And our families were there, and we were ministering to some young ladies who've been rescued from horrible situations. Yes. And um, I want to tell you why the favor of God is on Troy. My daughter goes out one night in uh, Kathmandu, which is one crazy That's city. Crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> we love it. We love the people there. We love the food. We love everything about it, but it is different. She goes out one day just exploring, and she meets a girl who takes her home, meets the mother, has dinner with them, and it turns out they don't have money for rent. And what does Troy do? He pays their rent for like a year. You just told my daughter, go tell them we're taking care of your rent for a year. Then you found out that this poor girl, is, she wants to study. She can't go to school. So Troy and their ministry, they wrote, the, they got them four 
$5,000 to cover this girl's university. One of the reasons that the favor of God is on Troy is because God knows that he can trust him with his favor, that he's going to share it. Amen. And God is looking for people that will share it. I think of uh, uh, Tabitha, who was raised from the dead. Now, I, I wasn't around back then in, in Yafo, in Jaffa, okay, yeah. uh, but I'm, I'm, I think a few people probably died that day, maybe 10, maybe 20. It wasn't just her, but she's the only one who got raised from the dead. And what did she do with her life? She made clothes and she gave to the poor. Yes. One of the ways that you obtain favor that God says, I, I can't, I imagine she got to heaven, Troy, and, and God had some bad news for her. I need you on earth. And, and that's how I look at Troy and your wife. and your, They got seven orphanages around the world. They are rescuing girls from sexual slavery. It's awesome. And so God says, these are people I have to bless because they're using it for the kingdom of God. And so when you sow into God TV so that we can then get the gospel to Nepal, to Asia, yeah. to Africa, it releases favor. Well, this is one of the this is one of the great reasons why I love to partner with with God TV is because God TV isn't just reaching the richest of the rich. God TV is also reaching the poorest of the poor with yeah. the same exact programming, right on. And yeah. I love that. And I mean, I go all over the world. I'm talking about I, I I do a lot of traveling. You as you've already mentioned, you and I you and I have traveled a lot together. And I can't go anywhere that I don't that I can't say hey, you can find us on God TV. And they're like, oh, I know what God TV is. God TV has an awesome reputation among poor people throughout the world. Mm -hmm. now, now, a lot of, I want to just tell you, brother, the world does not celebrate that, but heaven celebrates that. And it brings right. the favor of God upon us. And I want to just say, anybody that's watching and you're thinking about partnering with us, when you're partnering with us, you're partnering with us to reach the poorest of the poor and the lowest of the Lord and the, the people that the world does not celebrate, but God does celebrate. And that is something, my friends, that the Lord cares about. There are people right now watching all over the world in all different kinds of circumstances, and we're bringing the same exact hope to every single one of them. That's something that really and truly makes the Lord happy. Amen. Troy, I want to um, tell everybody about this DVD oh, wow. we're giving away. Yeah. But before we do that, and give you time to share a 10-minute word. Tell them quickly about that story with the shoes. <laughs> well, uh, we do a lot of work in the trash dump, and uh, we love working in trash dumps all over the world, and we love taking food in there and hope in there and feeding people. You can just make such a tremendous difference. And we were in there. I was with my family and a group uh, from Open Door Church, about 50 or 60 people, and they brought to us, they brought to me this brother who was paralyzed, and he was in a wheelchair. And uh, he had been dragging his feet in this filth for so long, unable to actually feel his feet. His feet were so infected that we just spent the whole day just cleaning his feet and washing his feet and speaking wow. to the brother and loving, wow. and loving on him. I asked him, I said, hey, man, how come, how come you don't wear any shoes? And he said, well, because I have feet like an elephant. Well, that's, that's like a prophetic phrase for me, okay? <laughs> because the brewers have feet like an elephant. All of us do. <laughs> and I, I instantly knew, I guarantee it, my feet are going <laughs> to, my shoes are going to fit this guy because I have to wear a triple E wide shoe. So I took off my shoes and they fit him perfectly. And I told him, I said, brother, the Lord loves you so much that he sent you somebody from another country that has feet like an elephant. And these shoes are going to fit you perfectly. And they did. And we loved on him and we blessed on him. And there's, there's a bunch of other cool things that happened. But the bottom line is I got back to my church and preached on Sunday. And then on Monday at the Open Door Food Bank, I get a call from a world-renowned organization saying, hey, we have a big giant truckload of non-food items for your food bank. Will you, are you willing to take it even if it's not food? And I said, yes, of course. And word as God is my witness, on the following Friday, which was exactly seven days to the day that I gave away my shoes, this giant 52-foot trailer backed up to my warehouse. I opened it up, and there were 16,000 pairs of brand-new shoes. 16,000 pairs of <laughs> shoes. He invested one, and he got 16,000 back. You're going to hear more from Troy in just a minute. But before that, take a look at this. This is an offering we have for you if you would just pledge to us today. What is the favor of God? The favor of God comes from a personal experience that God Almighty has for you. Have you ever wondered what the difference between love, grace, and blessings of God and the favor of God? The favor of God puts you in the right place at the right time for the right kind of miracles to happen. When you become a God TV partner or give to God TV this June, you'll receive a very special DVD teaching from Troy Brewer on the favor of God. 
find out in this extraordinary teaching, produced specifically and exclusively for God TV partners, and discover how you can receive God's favor. Stand with us, become a God TV partner, and get your exclusive DVD on the favor of God. Call the number on your screen or go online to God.TV today. Well, friends, I have the incredible privilege and pleasure to talk to you about what God Almighty says about the favor of God. Now, whenever I was first asked to bring this, I was so excited about it. And Ward and I have already been talking about this. And so I want to get to the point. Here we go. There are four different types of the love of God that we tend to get confused. And I want to remove all confusion on this because the favor of God is so important. So there is the love of God. There is the grace of God. There is the blessings of God, and there are the favors of God. And we always think, well, you know what? The love of God, that's the favor of God. No, it's not. Friends, listen, God loves everybody. He loves everybody in every situation. But there are so many people that God loves that are not favored. And then we think, okay, well, there's the grace of God. The grace of God, in, especially in this context, is given to people who are walking with God. And the grace of God is unmerited favor. And it's what God uses to empower us to walk out our walk with Him. But that's not the favor of God. And then there's the blessings of God. Guys, I want to tell you all that there are people all over the world that God blesses that don't even love Him. There are people that, that the Lord blesses that don't even know God. So how could that be? You know what? You could be blessed because you have a praying mama. You could be blessed because you live in a nation that is blessed. You could be blessed because of the generation that you live in. But see, that's not the same as the favor of God. The favor of God is something absolutely different that belongs to all of us. And you know what? It's offered to all of us, but very few people actually choose to walk in it. I want to help you with that. When I think about the favor of God, I think about all different kinds of things. But one of the main things that I think about is the Bible says that Jesus himself had to grow in the favor of God. Like, whoa, how in the world... <laughs> If, if Jesus has to grow in it, I want you to know that you and I are going to have to grow in it. That's Luke chapter 2, verse 52 says, And Jesus grew in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and with man. Man, that is amazing to me. So if Jesus Christ, we're talking about the king of the universe who put himself into flesh form, if he had to grow in the favor of the Lord, I promise you that you and I together, we're going to have to grow within the favor of the Lord. And one of the ways that we grow in the favor of the Lord is that we have to begin to build a history in what I like to call walking in what God loves and, and actually having a passionate even hatred towards the things that God says, I don't like those things. Like, well, the Lord doesn't hate anything. I promise you, God hates poverty. I promise you that. I promise you that the Lord hates racism. I promise you that God hates it whenever people are abused and downtrodden. And friends, it is the role of the body of Jesus Christ to answer those great evils with the goodness of God. And guys, the Bible says that whenever, whenever we bring the goodness of God, it actually leads men to repentance. And you know what that is? That's when folks change. That's when things change. That's how transformation works. What is it that is the catalyst for, for repentance and transformation and change? It's walking in the love of God, which means... Um, I'm just going to decide that if God loves it, I love it. I'm going to decide that if God cares for that, I'm going to care for that. Now, the biblical term for that is called the fear of the Lord. And we know that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Friends, I want to encourage you today and tell you this. You cannot get to know Jesus too much. You cannot know him too much. You cannot love him too much. You cannot walk with him too much. And as the Lord begins to see that you're constantly laying down your life and you're not choosing what is natural for you, you're choosing what is supernatural from him. He says, I'm going to apply my favor into your life. Now, the favor of the, now the favor of the Lord can look like a whole lot of different things. And one of the things that it looks like is it looks like what I call logistical miracles, where you're in the right place at the right time for the right miracle to happen. It also looks like things like all of a sudden you get promoted. All of a sudden you're, you're, you're in the right place where promotion falls upon you. This thing where the, favor of, where the favor of God comes upon you and not only do you survive terrible things that other people do not survive, but you actually overcome them in such a way that a promotion is actually born through it. All of these things fall under the category of the favor of the Lord. Friends, the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 8, verse 34 through 35, it says, For those who find me find life, and guys, this is God Almighty himself talking, and they shall obtain the favor of the Lord. 
Now, if you're going to be like, I wonder what it means to obtain. Well, obtain means to gain by planned action or by effort. To gain by planned action or by planned effort. One of the things that I can tell you about the efforts of God TV is that we are real about helping Israel. And this is something I promise you that if you will become an Israel supporter, you'll be somebody who says, God says, okay, you know what? I'm going to put my favor. You're actually going to obtain favor from an intentional posture of loving Israel. I've been with Brother Ron. I've been with, I've, I've been with Brother Ward all over Israel. We stomped around there. I know the works that God, that God TV is doing. And I can tell you this, when you partner with God TV, you're actually partnering to be a blessing to Israel. Recently, uh, Brother Ron got up and he gave this huge speech that was, I'm telling you, it was incredible. He got up and he told everybody, God TV stands with Israel. Boom. But not only, does God Almighty, not only does God TV stand with Israel, and not only does God Almighty stand with God TV, we also support our Messianic brothers and sisters. And that is so important for us to do that. Friends, if you're going to obtain favor, it's going to be because you, it's going to be because you decide. If God loves these people, I'm going to love these people. It's going to be because you decide, if God, if God wants to do something about this, I'm going to do something about this. It has to do with empathy. It has to do with compassion. It has to do with letting the Lord's heart actually affect you in such a way that you conform your heart to God Almighty's heart. It's true when my friends say, man, Troy, you have an incredible favor upon you. I, I really do. And I don't want to say that I haven't earned it because I have earned it, but I haven't earned it as far as my actions in the world. I've just earned it in the sense of I've developed a history with the Lord in such a way that God says, okay, Troy, if you walk in these things, you will qualify for my favor. I can't qualify for the love of God. I can't qualify for anything else, but I can qualify for favor and you can too. So whenever I say that we walk in favor I want you to understand that the favor of the Lord is God's demonstrated delight. How he loves to demonstrate his delight and how that you love what God loves and you hate what God hates and you're moved by what actually moves the Lord. I'm involved in, in, in saving girls out of sexual trafficking all over, the, all over the world. Boom, the favor of the Lord is found right there. I'm involved in supporting Israel. I'm involved in all of these things and I partner with God TV. Friends, we, I, don't, I don't know how much time that we have left because I know that Jesus Christ is coming soon, but I can tell you about the time that we're in right now. Friends, this is the 70th year of Israel. This is a very, very, very pro, um, prophetic hour. Uh, uh, Brother Ward and Brother Ron and I, we were all in Jerusalem at the moving of the embassy and we praise God for that. This is the 70th year. And guys, strategically in the Bible, the word favor is exactly 70 times in the Bible. You know what that tells me? That tells me that this year, we being the 70th year of the rebirth of the nation of Israel, and also too, since, since the word favor is in the Bible exactly 70 times, this is a time of great favor. If we will stand where God stands, if we will be more famous for who we stand for instead of who we stand against. My goodness, friends, let's not be famous for who we stand against. Let's be famous for who we stand with so that people will say, man, that's the heart of Jesus right there. I don't see that anywhere else, um, uh, anywhere. That actually comes from the Lord. Jesus said, this is how people will know that you are my disciples and that you love one another. Mm -hmm. Guys, let's be world famous for how we love. Let's be world famous for how we stand with people. God TV is committed to that. God TV is committed to that in nations that, that many others just don't even care about. This network cares. This network is here 24 hours a day, seven days a week, making a difference, not just with the programming, but with the consistency of the kind of programming we're offering here. So friends, I want to encourage you today. Walk in the favor of the Most High God. I, I, it doesn't matter you know, where you're at on this planet. I come from a very, very, very humble beginning, I promise you. But the favor of the Lord has changed everything for me. I want to pray for you. You guys ready? Here we go. Father God, sir, I come to you, Lord, and I thank you, King Jesus, for the reality of your amazing presence and for the promise of your favor upon us, Lord God. Father, I pray, God, in the name of Jesus, God, that during this hour, during this prophetic time that all of us are living in, that we would have a brand new revelation of being bound and determined. I am highly favored of the Lord. 
Father, in the name of King Jesus, I pray, God, that you would do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we could ask or think. I pray, Father God, sir, that our hearts would break over, over the broken lives of people. And I pray, God, that we would answer the evils of this world with the goodness of God. I love you, Lord God, and I praise you and I thank you for it. Father God, sir, move across the world and do this great thing. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Well, my friends, I encourage you, walk in the favor of God. And I call you all the head and not the tail, above and not beneath, and highly favored of the Lord. Praise the name of King Jesus. Well, praise God, praise God, praise God. Thank you. Troy, thank you so much for that. Friends, did you enjoy that? You're going to hear more from Troy in just a minute. But why do we do what we do? Why is it that God all of a sudden wants to pour his favor out upon your life? He's been watching. He's been taking note. Every gift that you have made, everything that you have done. You know, Ruth asked Boaz, why have I found favor? She prayed for favor. And she asked him, why have I found favor? And his response, because I heard what you have done. Would you do right now? Would you go to your phones right now? Would you pledge to God TV? Would you be one of those new 7,000 partners that would join with us and say, yes, sir. Yes, sir, to the vision and mission of God TV. And for those of you that have been faithfully given every month, we want to thank you and bless you. And we are praying for favor upon you. We need your gift this month as well. And could you even sacrificially give? Could you give above and beyond? We really desperately need your help. Take a look at this, my dear friends. These are the testimonies from around the world. This is the reward that you have in heaven. This is why we do what we do. Our passion is connecting people to the gospel through media. It was May 2012 that my body just came to a screeching halt. In and out of county jails, rehabs. I was diagnosed in my early 20s with hepatitis C. I believe whatever road you're on, you will get to God one day and you will stand before God one day. All roads lead to God, but only one road leads to heaven, and that's the road through Jesus Christ. I started drinking when I was about 21, doing drugs when I was about 22. Brokenness was always there. The hurt and the pain and shame that I brought on my family and myself. God TV is a vehicle of hope, reaching those in the most desperate situations. This pain I had in my body, became so severe, so, so severe that I couldn't even change my own clothes. In my mind was, you know, this terrifying thought that my life has stopped. All over the world today, thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people are going to be impacted by the power of Jesus Christ. Started flipping through channels and I got to God TV. I have a healer. Amen. I do. He did the work. He does Amen. the work. But I got to have it. Amen. I got to receive it. I started watching God TV. It was, it was crazy that I could, you know, have God in my home. And God's TV, that anointing is so strong that came through the television. Just a powerful anointing. I would be crying. It was the very first time I actually felt that I wasn't going to die and that God heard me and that I can be healed. So many years of my life, and now, now I know who's God. He wanted me well, he wanted me healed, he wanted me healthy. He, he had a future for me. Partner with God TV and see lives changed to the outer ends of the earth. Hello, my name is Patricia King, and I'm so encouraged because of God TV to know that there is a network that wants to get the full gospel out to the nations is amazing, not only to, to bring the good news, the salvation message, but also equipping and training of believers. It is, it's so beautiful that we have this expression in the world today. I especially want to thank Ward Simpson and his team. You know, they are working day and night to get this gospel out. And they're a stellar team, a team that is full of integrity and passion for the Lord. And so I want to encourage you, become a partner with God TV. 
Do you know that we only need 7,000 partners worldwide and we can carry this gospel into every continent, almost every single nation in the world if we all did our little part together. And so I wanna highly, highly encourage you to become a partner today and to also in this mission week, give your most generous offering that you can to help this gospel message get out there, to bring in the harvest in the nations. What a wonderful day to be alive where we can just use media, media as, a, as an opportunity to reach millions and millions of people at a time in every nation around the world. This is an opportunity that we cannot let go. God is calling all of us to be media missionaries per se, so that we can serve him in the bringing in of the nets of, 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 of fresh souls that are gonna come into the kingdom. So don't delay, just act right now and go to your phones or go to your computer and sign up as a partner or give your, your most generous offering that you can today. The Lord is going to be so blessed by your giving and by your service unto him. And thank you again, God TV. Thank you, Ward Simpson. Thank you for your team, for the way that you serve the Lord and his purposes. Well, it's great to join you here from our Plymouth Call Centre here in the UK. And we're talking to you, our precious partners, and we're asking to call now. We've got an amazing team here standing by waiting to take your call. All the phone lines are open and, you know, it's going really well. But, but there's so many, there's so many of you that we know that this program is speaking to you right now. So why not? Why not partner with us? Why not step into that favor that we've been, we've been hearing about and learning about? We're, we're asking, we, we need 7,000 partners to join us. And you can give a gift of 27 pounds, 27 dollars, 27 euros, a monthly gift. That would be amazing. Or your best gift. Whatever you can do will be a huge, huge blessing. And we believe here at God TV mm. that we're good soil. You know, it's important to know where you're sowing and who you're sowing to. Jesus teaches about this in Matthew and in, in through the Gospels. So sow into God TV, partner yes. with us, sow into good soil. There's so much fruit that we're hearing about on a daily basis. So Gina, I believe mm. you have some fruit to share, some great testimonies. Yes, yeah, so we have a testimony from yeah. Tracy in Norway. Um, she's saying, ever since I was born again, I have been going to church online every single day uh, because I have a sleep disorder that prevent me from going to a local church. Um, and God TV is one of the best providers of Christian programs and church services there is online. They help me to fill my time with righteous and godly programs instead of the secular TV. When I'm awake at night, this is why I decide to support God TV. And isn't that just amazing, amazing. Um, to see what God TV is awesome. doing for our viewers 24 hours a day. Um, so the numbers are on your screen. Please call us now. We're here yeah. to take your calls and you can go online at God.tv and donate and we're here for you. Over to you, Thomas. And uh, wonderful, Gina. And there are call centers around the world, in, in India, in uh, Australia, in US. So you can call us 24-7. The numbers are on the screen. And this is the time for you to call and become one of those media missionaries which helps us take the gospel around the world, from Jerusalem to the outer ends of the earth. And you just saw on the promo that we reached 200 countries with 300 million homes. And we need to continue to do this good work and it is impossible to do this without you, our precious partners. Okay, Fergus, you've been doing some great programming on the UK feed, yes. and we're all very blessed. And I just wanted to ask you this question, like programs like Book for Life, yes. uh, UK Regional Updates, Let's Get Real, Creation Fest, uh -huh. Questioning Christianity. And we watch all of these programs and they're so wonderful, wonderful. So. Tell us what's the heart behind all this. Well, we have a wonderful team of producers, creative directors, film guys who make an extraordinary effort 
to take the money that our partners give us, the money that we're asking during this appeal, to create fresh anointed programming. So whether it's on location where we've gone to some of the great summer festivals, whether it's Books for Life, which we partner with Krish Kandaya and a wonderful group of, of authors here in Great Britain. In fact, my favorite program is the new series that we're running on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays right now called Let's Get Real, where we're partnering with Rock and we're partnering with a group of fantastic, fantastic women in ministry. And they're sharing literally, let's get real. Let's tell the stories that our partners are facing and hopefully find solutions that will bring comfort and encouragement. It's we've 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 enjoyed actually to be honest with you, Thomas, we in this last year as as a UK team have enjoyed great favor. The, the favor that uh, Troy and Ward have been talking about. We've enjoyed this great favor even in the programmings that we've been able to make. It's been it's been a wonderful year, a real banner year for us here in the UK. And I, I must tell you that uh, back in India, people love these programs and we've uh, been making sure that we promote these programs on all our social media yes. and sending out the word to look out for those programs. Yes. Mm. Uh, Wayne, how about in Australia? Yes, it, we're really loving this. But what I, what I wanted to talk to you a bit about is we have this distribution that goes all over the planet, yes. um, goes to Australia and India, 100 yeah. million homes. Um, Maybe I just wanted to talk a bit with you about what drives us, what motivates Amen. us to put, why do we do what we do? What's the, what's the point of doing these programs? Amen. Well, one of the things that we're, we're encouraged by, certainly here in the UK and European team, is we create programs that we hope will touch our viewers around the world. So the call for prayer that we did last night, which was such a privilege, that every month we get to pray for our viewers. We just open up the phone lines and say, we want to pray for you. We want to stand with you. We're getting calls from all around the world. And it's because of our God TV distribution and because we're creating programming that's touching the lives of our viewers that we're seeing lives transform. We're literally seeing the, the testimony that Gina shared in Norway of a young lady who is struggling perhaps with sleep, but at those hours of sleeplessness, she's able to hear the gospel. She's able to hear words of comfort. So as a creative team, we're hungry, we're hungry, we're hungry. We spend time before the Lord to sort of in some way create a, a programming, to create television, to create things that we can put online that will bless and comfort and encourage our viewers. Wonderful. And I guess like a, a, a lot of people, sometimes they turn on to God TV and, and there is a partner appeal on and they're wondering what's going on. And little do they realize that it costs money to go on the satellites sure. and actually it costs money to do the programs, sure. to equip and empower and bring favor. And, and Often people don't know where even view or funded sure. or non-for-profit. Yes. What would you say to somebody that's saying, why, why, why should I give to well, them? Well, 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 we are viewer funded. I think yes. it's the thing. The truth is that this ministry around the world touching over 300 million connected homes, 100 million homes plus in India, yeah. reaching Australia, Thailand, and, and here in the UK, our passion is to see the gospel spread around the world, to perhaps even return to our missionary and our mission sending roots. But it's because of you, precious viewers, that you provide us the fuel. You give us that investment that allows us to take these great programmings and events, that allows us to capture the anointing and the spirit of God and bring it into home after home, desperate situation after desperate situation, broken family after broken family. But as Wayne, as you were saying, it is viewer funded. It is literally all of us doing that what we can. So if you can give and commit to a monthly recurring gift of 27 pounds, 27 euros, $27, we can do even more of these great life-changing programs and reach even more people with the gospel and grace of God. That's so good. And I know in India, lives are getting touched and transformed. There's testimonies coming every day to your office. Uh, in your office, it is not coming. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he is getting too serious. Uh, <laughs> as the word of the Lord goes out, it's been an immense blessing yeah. for people. And I must tell you that uh, the program which we do every month, prayer time, yes. people actually look forward to yes. it. Yeah. And it's been a great, great blessing. It's a time of fellowship. We come together, yeah. we worship, and we stand in the gap, and we pray for people. Christian walk is not an easy walk. Well, and we, yeah. 
Thomas, you, you're sharing about prayer times, which we as teams do, but even last night, as we got to stand with us as regional yeah. directors, you have to understand, we pray for each other. We are covenanted, just as Ward and Ron and Scott and Troy out in our US team are covenanted as family. This, this group of regional directors, we love you, we love you. And as prayer teams, we want to stand before the Lord and pray for you to see your needs met. We do the media, we do the television, vision stuff we do the online stuff so that your life will be blessed and touch Wayne absolutely we just love to be able to take this gospel the gospel of Jesus the one that loves you into your home but saints we need your partnership so that we can continue to take this gospel to people that never heard it before we need to start to fulfill the great commission and that's what drives all of us it's the it's the heartbeat of god tv to see souls and israel to 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 be uh and revival to to, to take what's going on um all around the world yes. into people's places and yes. to be touched and and media is so powerful because here we are in the uk we're having a chat and over in the us we're gonna throw over to the us team and ward and um they, we're gonna it just blows my mind what technology can do and where we can go with the gospel isn't that right, Ward? Yes, Wayne. Keep a hold of that mind. Don't let it be blown. <laughs> hold, on. <laughs> hold on to it tight there, brother. We need you around. Friends, I hope you're enjoying this special Partner Appeal program. Thank you, Wayne and Thomas and Fergus and everyone in the UK and around the world who are manning the phones and, and working around the clock for the kingdom of God. We're talking about favor. We're talking about favor upon your life. We are praying and believing that God's about to do something. Someone needs a breakthrough. You're watching. You need to be noticed. You need a raise. You need a promotion. You need a husband. You need a wife. There's something wrong that needs to be fixed. You need special attention. You need protection. You need provision. All of these things are part of the favor of God on your life. And if you've just tuned in, God spoke to me clearly, and He said, Tell my people that I'm about to pour my favor out upon their lives. Friends, we need you to call the phone number on your screen. We need you to call right now. We need you to pledge to God TV. We need you to help us to hold our hands and let's do this thing together. We need your help. We need to raise two, three million dollars right now. We are close, but we need your help, friends. We need your help like never before. Please, if you're watching right now and you're wondering, well, should I pledge? The answer is yes, <laughs> you should pledge. You're watching today for a reason. Friends, this is good soil. This is fertile soil. This is going to produce a crop for you 30, 60, and 100 times what you invest. We believe that with all of our hearts. Troy, some of the qualities that a person needs to find favor with God, you mentioned there's 70 examples in the Bible. I, don't, I didn't look at all of them, but I took the examples of Esther and Ruth and Joseph and Daniel and Noah and a few others, and these were some of the characteristics, and I am working on these in my own life. And listen, I want to read these to you. I'll even send them to you if you need to have them. But you need these qualities in your life. Why did the angel appear to Mary and say, you who are highly favored? Why? What was it? There were many other virgins there. But what was that magnet? What attracted heaven to Mary? Well, friends, you need to, first of all, love God. You need to love people. And you need to hate what God hates. You mentioned that. You know, um, Jesus speaking in Revelation, He says, you have this in your favor. That's right. You hate the works of the That's Nicolaitans. Right. That's right. You need to hate what God hates and love what God loves. You need to give gifts and offerings. That's part of the favor of God. Be righteous, be blameless, be faithful, be submitted, be humble, be honest, and get wisdom. These are all characteristics to find in favor. Now listen, you don't need to have all of them right now. Just work on one at a time, friends. That's what I am doing. Troy, the Bible says in Genesis 4 that Abel brought an offering and the Lord looked with favor upon it. Yeah. But to his brother's offering... He did not look with favor. Yeah. That means that you can give an offering and it doesn't find favor with God. I am very careful where I sow my seed. I don't want to waste my seed. I work too hard for it. Right. And your offering, according to the Word of God, 
he can find favor or not find favor That's with right. it. And then Jacob, as you know, his brother wanted to kill him for stealing his birthright. What did Jacob do? He was about to meet him. His life was, was at risk. And what did he do? He sent gifts ahead. And his brother said, what are these gifts you're sending me? And he said, my Lord, to find favor mm. yes. with you. So just pick up on what you were preaching about. It really inspired us. Well, I, I absolutely love what you just said about Cain and Abel because Cain brought what he wanted to bring the way he wanted to bring it. And Abel brought what God wanted wow. him to bring the way he wanted him to bring it. And it's just that simple. So if you're somebody that wants to walk in the favor of God, you have to love what God loves and hate what God hates. And you have to stand with who God Almighty tells us to stand with, right? You have to reach out to who the Lord tells us to reach out to. You have to be a part of the things that are kingdom, right? Now, the thing made big sense to Cain. It made sense because a brother worked hard and he's like, man, I'm working hard. I'm trying to make this work. So I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring all the fruit of everything I'm planted because I worked really hard and God's going to appreciate that. That wasn't what the Lord asked. You know what he said? He said, he mm. said, this is what I appreciate. So I want you to love what I love. And Cain could never tap into that. So it's very, very, very important. Your very first one on that whole list was, was just to be in love with God. Yeah that man loving God brings you into favor with the Lord, just being somebody who says, I, I just cannot love God enough. And it's one thing to say that you love him, but it's another thing to demonstrate it. And whenever you demonstrate your love for God through giving, mm -hmm. then the Lord demonstrates his delight upon you and that's called favor. Amen. I like that. Magnetism, Ron. <laughs> you, you know, I was thinking re recently something happened in our, my life where uh, I, I knew a certain amount of funds w was coming and I said to the Lord, 100% is going to go to, to the ministry. No, uh, it, was a, it was personal funds. I said, every, you, you get it all. And I, was, I thought it was going to be $100, $200. It ended up being $3,000. Okay. <laughs> and my first impulse, because, you know, the heart is still being repaired, and it, it doesn't quite look like Jesus yet, but it's getting there. But my first impulse was, can we renegotiate? <laughs> but that I, like wrong. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, but I said, no, Lord, it's all for you. And I began yeah. to get so excited to give away a large sum yes. like that, because not just to give it to the air, like Ward said, you got to know what, that, that your seed is going to a place that's going to produce fruit. I want to give to ministries that are that are preaching the gospel, that are kingdom oriented, right. that are not just talking heads. But I get, I just said, Lord, I, I, I'm excited to give this away because I can't outgive you. Yes. I know that if I give this, you're going to bless me again. I, you know me. Right. I don't do it for the blessing, right. but I want to be blessed so Amen. I can continue to be a blessing. Amen. So favor. Amen, Ron. Listen, this is a good thing to throw in here. I was handed a check by a loved one family member today yeah, and said, I need some of that favor. I want to invest in God TV. And they wrote a check for $10,000. Wow. wow. So it's a $10,000 <laughs> check that this is going to this partner appeal, friends. And I want you to match it. I want you to get behind it. Maybe you can only give $5. It's not about the amount. It's the heart. We want you to be a part of what God is doing. You know, the great news with the kingdom of God, whether you give $5 or $5 million, as long as you are faithful and obedient, you share in 100% of the reward. So we're not trying to get you to give more than you have. But this friend could afford 10000 What can you afford today to give to this partner appeal? Can you give 10000 Can you give 100000 We have a dear brother in the UK that called and pledged 27,000 pounds. Wow. 27,000 pounds. His first pledge was for 25,000. Wow. <laughs> and I said to him, I said, sir, would you mind going to 27,000? Because we're talking the number seven today. And he said, count me in, 27,000 pounds. Wow. Friends, our phones are ringing, partners are giving. We need your help like never before. Would you call right now as Paul is about to lead us in worship? Did you want to jump in there? I want to tell you, listen, I want to jump in on that as well. Okay. Now, Open Door Church, which is the church that I pastor. Awesome church. Uh, I saw a check in your hand, so I figured I you I wanted to jump in I got a check in my hand. And what's real is we want to give towards the things that we know is going to bring the favor of God upon us. Amen. And so... On top of me, you know, I, I am actually a partner with you guys. I personally partner with you. Thank but you. this comes from my church. This is a check for $1,000. Wow. Thank Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. I call you, you blessed, my brother. Hey, thank I call you. this whole thing blessed. <laughs> thank you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much. Man, I'd, I'd like to encourage every single pastor and just say Please. this, that if you're a pastor of a church and you're wanting your congregation to be blessed, listen, 
the favor of the Lord comes upon you as you stand with the things that God stands with. So as a church, guys, we, we're doing that at the Open Door Church. I want to encourage all the pastors that are watching right now. Hey, listen, support this. Stand with us. Be a God TV supporter. I received a text from um, another family member of mine. He's, he's kind of, he's a cousin of my dad's, but uh, he's, a, he's a wonderful man. He, he lives in America and he sent me a text. He says he's going to send us a check this month and uh, for this partner appeal. I don't know what he's going to send, and, but we just know that people all around the world believe in the vision of God TV. And I wrote mm -hmm. him back, Troy, and I said, I said, I, and I called him my name. I said, listen, I, I don't want you to feel that you need to give because it's me. All right. I come, I, I'm embarrassed, I said to him, yes. that, you, you know, that I even asked you. And his response caused me to cry. He said, Ward, what I have seen and learned of God TV, there's no other place that I would want to put my money. Mm. So it was really encouraging. So those of you watching, we need your help, please. Would you call us right now? We need 7,000 new partners to pledge $27, 27 pounds, 27 euros. We need partners all over the world. Friends, if you're in India, we really need your help in India. Our local office in India needs your help like never before. Australia, Africa, Europe, we need you to get on the phone right now or go to God.tv and click and pledge and give us your best gift today. Paul Wilbur is going to continue to lead us in some worship, gives you the opportunity to continue to pray and continue to have your heart touched by God as you go to the phones right now and give. Here's a great recipe for favor, guys. As I was praying about what songs to use, Psalm 84 says, No good thing will I withhold from him who walks with me. That's favor. This is a great recipe. Listen to the words from King David, Psalm 84. Blessed is the man. Favor is the man who trusts, who walks with the king. How lovely you are, your courts, oh God, your dwelling place, oh most high. My soul it yearns and faints for them. My heart and my flesh cry out for you, O oh God. For you, O oh Lord, our sun and the shield, you show us favor and love. No good thing that you withhold from him who walks with you. Almighty one, blessed is the man who trusts in you. And even the sparrow has found no in the swallow nesting. May feed her young, a place near your altar. They choose to dwell, O oh Lord of Almighty. You're my King, my God. For you, O oh Lord, are Son. You show us favor and honor. No good thing you withhold from him who walks with you. Almighty one, blessed is the man who trusts in you.
than to live for a thousand anywhere else. For you, O oh Lord, are my son and my shield. You show me favor and honor. I know the thing that you withhold. Almighty One, blessed is the man who trusts in you. Almighty One, favored is the man who trusts his trust in you. Yeshua, I trust. of my life, and I'll dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Blessed is the man, favored is the man who puts his trust in the Lord. Greetings, beloved. I'm Dr. Mark Sharona. And for all of you that are part of the God TV family, I wanted to take a moment and just remind us all of how significant God TV has been in all of our lives. We turn it on 24 hours a day, and we get to experience the experience of the fullness of the Spirit. We're touched. We're healed. We're empowered. We're transformed. It's a source of encouragement. It's a source of teaching. It's a source of inspiration. It's a source of edification. And all of us have been greatly enlarged because of what's happening and has happened on God TV. The entire God TV team around the world is here to serve you as together they seek the face of God to facilitate what wants to happen by the Spirit so the body of Christ can grow into all the fullness that the Father intends through Christ. These are significant days and I am delighted to be a friend and to call a friend in Ward Simpson who sits at the helm of God TV, one of the most integritous men I've ever met in my life and someone who has such a tender heart for the move of the Spirit that it's very difficult to be in Ron Ward when we're worshiping and not cry as the Spirit begins to move. I've never met a more tender and transparent man as it relates to the move of the Spirit. I've met many, but the, his tenderness and his compassion is something that deeply touches my heart. What you don't get to see on the screen is what goes on behind the scenes, even in seasons like this when we're raising money for God TV. There's significant worship by the team and by the staff, and Ward paces the floors and lifts his hands, and tears stream from his eyes as he worships Jesus and cries out for you, the many partners of God TV, that you would be enriched and edified and enlarged by the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. He's a man committed to revival and restoration and the reforming that God wants to bring. He wants to see the move of God. And I want to encourage you, get behind the team, get behind Ward, and sow into the vital, life-changing ministry of God TV. I promise what you do for God in sowing a seed, God will do for you. What you do for God TV, God will in turn add it to your righteousness in your harvest in your life because together we can make a difference and share God's dream with the nations and be part of fulfilling that every tribe, every nation, every kindred and every tongue will hear the gospel of Christ and come to Christ in the fullness of his saving grace. I invite you 
Say thank you to God TV by becoming a monthly partner and plant that seed and be the difference that makes the difference. In anticipation of your faithfulness to that, I want to say thank you in advance. And may God richly bless you with the blessing that makes rich and adds no sorrow. I love you. What is the favor of God? The favor of God comes from a personal experience that God Almighty has for you. Have you ever wondered what the difference between love, grace, and blessings of God and the favor of God? The favor of God puts you in the right place at the right time for the right kind of miracles to happen. When you become a God TV partner or give to God TV this June, you will receive a very special DVD teaching from Troy Brewer on the favor of God. Find out in this extraordinary teaching, produced specifically and exclusively for God TV partners, and discover how you can receive God's favor. Stand with us, become a God TV partner, and get your exclusive DVD on the favor of God. Call the number on your screen or go online to God.tv today. The job of this. It's been so wonderful to be standing here in the call center during this early day of our partner appeal. We ask you, in fact, we encourage you right now, call in the number, go online to our website, god.tv forward slash gift, and get yourself this fantastic DVD from Troy. We listened to it the other day. It really does go into great, great detail between the difference between love and grace and blessings and the favor of God. So if you've been thinking about making that gift, then jump in today by calling the number on your screen and we will rush you one of these DVDs that really is a blessing from God. However, don't miss this opportunity. It's the chance that you have today to fuel the fire of this ministry, to allow us to go further with the gospel, with the goodness and the grace of God. So therefore, please call the number right now. Go, go, go online, but make sure that you participate in this great God TV partner appeal. Wayne, it is a real thrill. We're starting to get the the buzz here in the call center over to you thanks fergus yes if you've just tuned in welcome this is the god tv partner appeal and we need you to respond if you love god tv and you watch god tv regularly this is your time the numbers are on your screen and we would love to hear from you and in doing so you're going to help us to fulfill part of the great commission and i am here with thomas the great commission is an amazing thing where we get to take the gospel to people that haven't heard it how many homes in india are we reaching right now uh, before that, I like to say that whenever I'm interviewed by you, I'm under severe pressure, <laughs> but I'm going to do well. And um, interesting thing is how many homes we reach. I'll come to that later. But what's happening in India? This is what isn't happening in India. This is Tanis from uh, northeast of India. Uh, life was at crossroads. I wasn't committed to Jesus. I started watching Joyce Meyer and a few other programs in the morning. I didn't believe in miracles. Watching God TV changed me inside. I rededicated wow. my life to Christ, started believing in miracles. Even my career progressed exponentially. Now, this is what is happening. Um, when we talk about favor of God, uh, we've completed 16 years of broadcast in India and in Asia, and that is a tangible evidence of divine favor of God. Mm. And we thank you, partners. The partners which we have are also favor of God because God chose those people to stand with our vision and run with that. Yes, we reach 118 million homes, which is 118 million homes. And uh, thank you, partners. But what I want to uh, speak to you uh, right now is that we need you to support us month on month. Now, the budgets, we need to pay all of these distribution. None of this distribution is free. All of the distribution is paid for. So when, when you say 118 million homes, is that one satellite that covers all of India? How, yeah. And then does it go on all the cable platforms? Absolutely. And all of those have bills? Yeah, absolutely. So you want to explain so, that a little bit for the guys? Absolutely. So we uh, it is on satellite, and yeah. from one satellite goes to various hundreds and thousands of cable networks, yeah. and that's how they receive it. So we need you to partner with us. We need you to support us. The numbers are on the screen. The call center waiting for you guys. And look at the technology, what happens. So now we are crossing over to the US studio and we go to the water. Praise God. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you guys over there in the UK. You know, it's expensive. 
and nobody ever said that spreading the gospel of Jesus was going to be cheap. This is a very expensive undertaking. And some mornings I wake up and I go, Lord, is this, is this really you? And recently, Troy, he reminded me of a sermon you gave. And he said, he said, Ward, you're not on a cruise ship, son. You're on a battleship. Come on. If you want to take a cruise, head down to Miami. That's right. <laughs> he said, but right now you're on a battleship. And we are doing war in the heavenlies, taking this gospel through the airwaves. And we are praying as we come up to the end of this program, we've got about five minutes left, that those that are watching will find favor today in Jesus' name. Well, this is called the good fight of faith. Amen. Yeah. And it happens by intentional effort. And it happens through partnership. You know, Lord, the Bible says that, that God gave the word, but great was the company that published it. It takes, it takes a great company of people who are committed and who, who are saying, no, not on my watch. I'm not going to let the world go to hell on my watch. You know, I'm going to get involved. I'm going to do something. And great is the company that publishes this yeah. hard work. I mean, people take it, um, we take it for granted, Ron, when we're watching TV, yeah. even on your smartphone, computer. We take it for granted. We see it, but it's 24 hours a day, seven days a week that cost. Right. You know, it costs us 18 to $20 million a year to do what we do. Wow. Well, I just want to speak directly to our friends around the world. We are living in days of restoration, days of revival. Uh, this 70th year of Israel's restoration, uh, the birthday of the rebirth that we just celebrated, there was a kick in the spirit. It, it, something has been set off. There is revival. We just came from Nepal. There's the fastest growing church in the world now in Nepal, just eclipsed China. China, gangbusters, people, over 100 million believers. India, there's revival. South, there is revival all over the world. And our passion is to reach the people who are hungry. Our passion, there are people around the world. There are Hindus and Buddhists who are searching and they're finding Jesus by turning on their TV set. That is why we ask you to get involved. Yes, we want the favor of God on you. We really do, and we're praying favor of, of God on you. But we also want to reach those hungry people. Imagine if we can't reach them. Imagine if they turn on their TV set and they're hungry and they're just looking for truth and we're not there. Friends, I'm asking you to help us be there. $27, 27 euros, 27 pounds, or more that you can do so that when that lost person that has been in deception turns on the television and they know there's a God, they know there is something more to life and they're just like, God, show me. And they turn on that TV or, or their smartphone or their iPad that they find us, they find you, they find me, they find the gospel of Jesus, the Messiah, and their life is changed. We're just asking you to partner with us. $27, 27 euros, 27 pounds. Troy, we got 60 seconds. Okay. Final comments. You know what? Um, God is blessing this thing, and the people who stand with us are going to be blessed. You know, this is not a day for us to kick back. This is a day for us to move forward. It's a time of accelerated time frames and moving forward, and we have to know what should we be a part of, what should we not be a part of, and I am so glad to partner with God TV. I Happy want to assure here. you, dear friends, that God TV is fertile soil. When you plant your seed here, this is a crop that's going to be produced and you are going to reap a harvest 30, 60, or 100 times fold. We believe the favor of God is coming upon your life today. We want to encourage you to join us again the same time tomorrow as we continue our partner appeal and continue to talk to you about the favor of God. Bishop Harry Jackson and Paul Krause Jr. will be with us tomorrow. Until then, God bless you. Take a look at this as we say goodbye. Actually, I have another minute. <laughs> Graham just told me I have another minute. So anybody want to jump in here? I just want to echo what everybody's been saying. You know, where I'm going to be honest with you, you and I have been friends a long time. We've been friends for over 20 years. And I've listened to these folks who are just meeting you. Yeah. And, and they're connecting you. And, and they're like, hey, this guy's got integrity. Yeah. This guy is, is the real dude. He cares about the gospel. Mm -hmm. I've, no, I've known you when I would fly into Pensacola and you would just show up in a car, pick me up, take, take care of my, my hotel, everything. 
And and ten I'm seconds. just so I, <laughs> ten seconds. Ahead, I'm proud of what God is Thank doing you. in you, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah! How many seconds we got left, Graham? <laughs> Five, four, three. Friends, we love you. Until tomorrow, God bless you. Take a look at this. <laughs> Hallelujah, Troy. Thank you so much for being here. We need 7,000 people to stand with us and become new media missionaries. By giving 27 pounds, dollars or euros monthly, you take the gospel to over 300 million homes in 200 countries, giving 1 billion people access to God TV. By partnering with God TV and Standing for Souls Israel and Revival, you have the chance to increase your sphere of influence. Partnering with God TV means your reach goes beyond those you encounter in person to those you enabled us to reach through the broadcast of the gospel through television. When you become a God TV partner or give to God TV this June, you'll receive a very special DVD teaching from Troy Brewer on the favor of God. Have you ever wondered about the difference between the love, grace, and blessings of God and the favor of God? Find out in this extraordinary teaching produced specifically and exclusively for God TV partners. Stand with us. Become a God TV partner. Go online to God.tv today.